Tonight, an emotional interview with a Rossville widow. Diana Parkinson learned new charges have been filed against the woman accused of making a false 911 call that led to Parkinson's husband's death. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain joins us live in the studio. And Caitlin, tell us what charges Gas faces. Well, a grand jury in Walker County indicted Dorothy Gass. Our media partners at the Times Free Press say Gass faces felony charges for making false statements. Police say Gass told the dispatcher her daughter-in-law threatened to kill her children and herself. Diana Parkinson's husband was killed after that call was made. The indictment comes three and a half months after a lower court dismissed a case against Gass. Parkinson says the new charges give her hope justice will be served. He was such a good husband and father. He took such good care of us. The backbone of our family is gone. Not a day goes by that Diana Parkinson doesn't think about her late husband, Mark. I can't ex express just how bad my pa past 10 months have been since Mark was killed. I feel as though a shroud has been over me and I just can't get over it. On New Year's Day, she and her husband woke up in the middle of the night to their dogs barking. Diana says Mark grabbed his gun to see what was happening. A deputy standing outside their home saw the gun and fired three shots through the window, killing Mark. Ten months later, those are the terrifying memories that stick with her. If I shut my eyes, I see him laying in the floor, bleeding out. When I go to bed at night, I just try to think of something else so I don't see that. Diana's daughter was living with them at the time. Police say her mother-in-law, Dorothy Gass, called 911, claiming her daughter threatened to kill her children and herself, a story the GBI says she made up. Gass originally faced one misdemeanor count of a false report of a crime, but that charge was dropped. Diana says learning about the new criminal charges gave her hope. She believes it's a step towards healing she hasn't had in almost a year. It was like there was a light that was sh shining that shone because it has been so hard. It's like everywhere we turn, there was no justice for Mark. And that's all I'm asking for is justice for Mark. Now, Parkinson's is hopeful that these charges won't be dropped. They also plan to file a civil suit. Okay, thank you for that update, Kate.